This lesson overviews how to perform a thumbnail search. A thumbnail search displays search results as a series of thumbnail images. You can use the thumbnail search if you need to find exactly when an event occurred in a wide time frame. For example, you can use a thumbnail search to quickly determine what time a vehicle entered a parking lot. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to perform a thumbnail search. This feature is available in these editions of ACC software. To access search options, click the highlighted button. In the menu that appears, click here. The thumbnail search works well when you know the exact event you were looking for, but don't know when it occurred. For example, you know that a suspicious person was seen waiting in the parking lot in a black car. You know which car you were looking for, but you don't know when the car arrived. There are two tools you can use to limit your search. The first is the green overlay, which defines the region of interest for the search. You can focus the green overlay over the area you want to search. In this example, it's already in place. The second tool is the time frame. You can define the time frame by dragging the time range markers to set the time range. Once you've set your parameters, click here. The results are immediately displayed. Each thumbnail represents a highlighted point in the timeline. The search results are spread evenly across the set time frame. To find the exact moment the incident occurred, we will double click the highlighted thumbnail. Alternatively, you can click the highlighted button to select the thumbnail. In this case, we are looking for the arrival of the black car. By double clicking the thumbnail before the thumbnail with the car, we narrow our search to the time between the two thumbnails. We must keep double clicking the thumbnail before the image with the black car until we find the moment it arrived in the parking lot. We will now click this thumbnail. We will continue to click the earliest thumbnail that has the instance of the vehicle in the results. Finally, we will click this thumbnail. Once you find the event, you can open it in a separate image panel to watch the video or to save the image as a snapshot. To sum up, in this lesson, you learned how to use the thumbnail search to find an event that occurred during a wide time frame.